Hi, this is Ralph Turciano. We're going to cover the top three medical research news stories of the past week, this being the 11th of January, 2016. First, what we're looking at is cancer screening has never been shown to save lives, argue experts. Number two, and an antidepressant drug linked with increased risk of birth defects when taken in early pregnancy with the first trimester. Number three, vaccine maker used unauthorized methods to produce blood products for over 40 years. Starting off with the first article, cancer screening has never been shown to save lives. What the researchers did or researchers argue in the British Medical Journal is they have to also take into account certain things like side effects from medications, other reasons for death during cancer treatment, as well as false positives of people being treated for cancer they do not have. What they also state too, advocates of screening have emphasized its benefits, sometimes verging on fear mongering. Others, including us, think it should be shared decision should be the focus. But as long as we aren't sure the mortality benefits of screening, we cannot provide people with the information they need to make an informed choice, as comfortable as the information that they present to the British Medical Journal may be. Number two, antidepressant drug linked with increased risk of birth defects when taken in early pregnancy. We're talking the first trimester. Compare with the use of, of nothing, of uh, paroxetine, first trimester use of paroxetine was associated with a 23% increased risk of any major congenital malformations and a 28% increased risk of major cardiac malformations in newborns. Paroxetine's brand name you may be familiar with is known as Paxil. Number three, vaccine maker used unauthorized methods to produce blood products for over 40 years. This was not discovered during government inspection. This was actually discovered by a whistleblower. Supposedly they started falsifying records in 1974, then as early as 1995, started forging records on a whole slew of things they produced, including animal vaccines, as well as human vaccines, which they produced for the Japanese market. Blood product and vaccine manufacturer Katsukan on Friday was ordered by the state to suspend business for 110 days. The longest penalty ever handed down in the Japanese pharmaceutical laws, the company's found to be adding unauthorized ingredients as well to its products and falsifying records for four decades. All links to these articles will be listed below. This is the news that we feel is the top news, health news, I should say, since the 11th of January 2016, the seven preceding days. Again, this is Ralph Trofgiano signing off once again, and thank you very much for listening.